Hi, I'm Yu Shu Zhai. I'm delighted to introduce my group member, Yuan Ke Wang and Zemin Huang. Today our topic is what are the provisions to follow up of impact for Boom International Airport. Follow up is defined by three of them. But all of them think that follow up is a tool to manage the project or plan in the post decision making. It's very important because without it, the future of EIA decision and action will be uncertainty. And the next project will lack the experience. Moreover, in China, Hong Kong local government have three reasons to use this one. And it still benefits for international social function too. According to International Association for Impact Assessment, follow-up contains four steps. Monitoring, evaluation, management, and communication. Furthermore, in 2019, Pinto et al. summarized the fifth step of follow-up, which named governance. There are two different principles of best practice in IAIA follow-up process from different years. Is that too long? Don't worry, let's focus on this page. In 2007, IAI passed the 17 best practice principles. We can follow these rules to concern our case study. The case study used here is the IAI process of Broome International Airport, which will be moved to 12 kilometers northeast of Broome town site. After comparing the follow-up of the relocation of Broome International Airport EIA project with the 17 follow-up principles from IAI, we find that most of the principal requirements have been completed by Boom project. However, the follow-up case study is inconsistent with the principal number 6, 8, 9, 13, 14, and 17, which also exposed some problem in EIA follow-up. Since the project is still in progress, it is difficult to determine whether the project was effective at the end. More details such as feedback period and periodic effect of EIA follow-up should be added to this project. We cannot judge whether the project is progressing in a positive direction. Also, we are not sure how often the feedback happens, so we can tell the project is keeping up with the changes in the information or not. In order to adapt to the development of timeliness, our case study of EIA follow up should focus on improving its information transparency and timeliness. To ensure that EIA follow up is truly effective, relevant departments should establish or strengthen feedback mechanisms such as increasing the frequency of information updates and making information public to achieve best practice of EIA follow-up. In conclusion, EIA follow-up contains five steps, and there are 17 international best practice principles. Our case room airport has six points that did not meet the best practice principles. In order to achieve the best practice follow-up, our project should not only follow all the steps and principles, but also be flexible in dealing with complex situations and establish a complete feedback mechanism